<laughs> well, I'm back, and you're back, and we're back. Welcome. I'm J Lo. This is Highs with Lo, my channel where I go out and do stuff, and come back and tell you about it. If you like that, please consider subscribing. That'd be great. Let's do it. Then get to see me do all kinds of weird stuff all the time. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Uh, today, today we're going to talk about this. Today we're going to talk about this. It's a cheap, generic, available on Amazon, HDMI, USB capture, video capture card. So, I've gotten feedback and I need to get to the point of my videos quicker. So, we're going to dive right in to the meat. I'm going to throw up a video of, well, side-by-side -side video. One of my MacBook's native webcam, which is 720p, right next to the output that this gives using my Sony ZV-1. So it'll be 1080p, because that's what this thing does. And this is how Zoom recorded these videos, okay? So these are both videos that I created in Zoom and recorded in Zoom and then put in to show you guys. Because that's really what I wanted to know. Was this thing worth it to get and use for Zoom calls to make the quality of my Zoom better. Here we go. So, I'm gonna let you look at it. Which one do you think is the webcam? And which one is the output from this USB HDMI video card? Is it the one on the left? Is it the one on the right? I think it's pretty evident, but I'll let you keep watching here. Okay, so the footage on the left, that is from the MacBook's native webcam. The footage from the right is the output from the Sony ZV-1 connected to the, this generic HDMI USB video capture card. So, I'm just gonna loop it back and so we can go deeper into it. I think it's pretty obvious, I didn't have to tell you, right? So immediately you can say that there's just less detail, less sharpness from the video on the left, which is the MacBook's internal webcam versus the one on the right. You can see it's, it's, it's a clearer picture. You can see my freaking wrinkles and pores and stuff better. Uh, I think the color reproduction is better on the right as well. It's more dynamic range, although that's a little bit trickier to say. And then finally, I think there's more Okay, there's more isolation of my image and quicker focusing of my image versus the MacBook's native webcam. Fantastic, right? So, was it worth it? Is this thing worth it? Well, let's talk about that now. This thing was 30 bucks. It's 30 freaking bucks. And I think you probably, if you look on Camel Camel Camel, which is the Amazon price checker tool. It lets you see what past prices are on Amazon. This thing is even cheaper before. It was 20 bucks. So now in the time of uh, COVID coronavirus, things are jacked up, prices and stuff, but this was only 30 bucks. It's sold by a variety of merchants and vendors on Amazon. So I didn't find it sold by Amazon specifically. It was sold, this one was sold by a little storefront called Blue AVS on Amazon. It was still fulfilled by Amazon. They, they're the, Amazon's the one that sent it to me, but uh, the storefront was called Blue AVS. And there's a bunch of other silly random uh, stores on Amazon that sell this thing for 30 bucks. Let's just go quickly into the specs, shall we? So it um, supports an input max resolution of 4K. So you can hook up a 4K device to it, but it only outputs at a max of 1080p. Okay, um, sports 8, 10, or 12-bit color. It has, I don't know what this is exactly. Supports AWG 26 HDMI standard cable. Oh, I do know what it is. This is an, a, this is an AWE 26 standard uh, cable up to 15 meters long. Okay, and then it supports uh, software like VLC, OBS, which is important, and I'll get into that in a sec. Uh, and AMCAP, I don't know what that is. Supports Windows, Android, and Mac, and conforms USB video and UVC standard, and it's USB 1.5 and 1.0, and that's it. You don't need any other 
connections. It doesn't require additional power supply or anything for this thing. It's just this. What else do you need though? I had to go buy this cable, which is the standard U HDMI cable right here. Boop. And it goes in here. Just put it in the hole, you know? Mm, like that. And then this is standard USB, USB-A, which goes into your standard USB port of your computer. So if you have a MacBook Pro 16 or something like that, you gotta get a dongle. Because <laughs> it only has USB-C ports. Okay, this other end of the cable, this end, is a mini HDMI, which goes into the Sony ZV-1, uh, and that's, that's how you connect it to the camera. So it's gonna take this video image, and shoot it into here, you click it into your laptop, and it makes the laptop think, oh, that's just a regular USB cam, like a Logitech webcam that you could buy anywhere, and, um, or you know any other uh, external webcam. That's what this thing does. It turns that HDMI signal into a USB signal. Why is that important? Well, because once you have that, then this camera is recognized by programs like Zoom, Google Meetings, um, Microsoft Teams, all the all the virtual meeting programs that you use. And that's what I wanted it for. I wanted to up my Zoom game because I do lectures now and stuff. I want to look professional, I want to look good, right? Uh, and, and meetings, it's not as important to me. But if I'm presenting, I want to be crisp, I want to be clear, I want to have a nice, sharp image. So that was my goal. And I think for 30 bucks, this is worth it. That's what I'm going to say. It also puts sound through. So you could, if you want to, um, use this to transport the onboard sound from the camera to the computer. You can do that. Or if you want, you can do your sound separate. I've done it this way. I plugged in my 3.5 millimeter lav mic into the, into the Sony camcorder, sorry, into the Sony camera, and then used that sound and brought that into the computer via this. Or you can just use the onboard mic that's already built into the camera, which is what I'm using right now, actually. I'm using the onboard sound right now. So that this device, well worth it to me because it's better quality and it made it possible to use the Sony. What's the alternative? What are the options? Well, there's another product, it's the same size, same form factor, and it costs more. One of the most common ones right now, I believe, is the the Elgato. That's a pretty common one. I, I you know, if I do, if you do searches online, you'll find it. And Elgato, <laughs> I don't know why it's called Elgato, uh, is 116 bucks on Amazon right now. You can also get it in like BH Photo and Adorama, which are all fine, repeatable co companies. And it's it's just cost more. It costs more. Why would you pay 90 dollars more? You wouldn't, right? Save that money. Gotta save that money. We gonna save that money. Uh, the difference though, the Elgato can input and output 4K. If you have to have that out, uh, 4K, then you're not gonna be able to use this. Uh, what are the other options? So you say you don't want a hardware solution. Could you do it via software? Yes, you can, you can, but it didn't work for me. And so the, the way you would try to do it because Sony has not made any software available yet that lets you use your camera as a webcam. It doesn't, it doesn't have it for this camera. There's no software that turns this camera into a webcam on your computer yet. Maybe they'll do it, maybe Sony will make it. Because Canon does it, and I believe Fuji does it, and maybe it, no, Olympus probably doesn't since they just got bought. But anyway, so the workaround for this camera was a pain in the booty. All right, so you had to download uh, Sony's software suite called Imaging Edge Desktop. And with that, there's, within that, there's something called Remote. And it's a program that you can use on your computer to connect your camera to your computer and remotely control your computer, like change the f-stop, change the shutter speed, uh, change the focus, change, you know, do all these settings changes via USB to your computer. It didn't have any facility though to turn it into a webcam, like I said, but it does let you look at the viewfinder 
on your computer. So you have a window open that shows you what your camera is seeing in the viewfinder and it puts that on your screen. You get to see, what's, see what the camera's shooting. So you take that, great, set up, right? Then you have to get another program called Cam Twist. And Cam Twist, you load on your computer and it, <laughs> it can take any window on your computer and turn it into a webcam via software. And then you can use that uh, kind of uh, spoofed webcam you can use that in your programs like Zoom and meetings and stuff. I hit two hurdles with that process though. Two freaking hurdles. One, the Sony software didn't work. It didn't connect to my camera. It was really spotty. It kept rejecting and saying it wasn't connected for no good reason. I, I think I got it to work twice. Once I got those, once I got it to work those two times, which were not, not in sequence, then you had to down. Then you had to get uh, Cam Twist to work, and and grab that image from the window on your screen and turn it into a webcam. But Zoom decided it doesn't want to use it anymore. So I went through all of that work and frustration to hit hurdles and surmount them so somewhat, and it still didn't freaking work. What's up? So what are your options if that doesn't work? Well, the other options were other software solutions, which also didn't work for me. So I was just running into a bunch of walls uh, until I found out about this, and this works. It's cheap, because I didn't want to spend over a hundred bucks just to find out if it would work or not. And it's cheap and it works, and it's better than the built-in webcam, and it's better than the software solutions I tried because those didn't work. And I think, I'm gonna have to say that this, this is, this is pretty kick-ass, this is pretty kick-ass. I love it, I love it. So go try to get one. I think they're, 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 they're selling out. They're, there's only a few left on uh, Amazon when I bought mine. And yeah, go out and do stuff. I think people are going out and doing stuff now. I've been staying home a lot and I feel like everyone is out doing stuff without me. Is that what's going on? Are you guys all out there doing stuff without me? Real fun. Well, go out and do stuff and tell me about it then. At least tell me about it. <laughs> That's it for me. Consider subscribing if you like this. And do you know? Thank you.